Welcome to IAYTD, and today we're looking at the term 4K, which is being marketed alongside televisions, online streaming services, and more. In this video, I'll attempt to explain what these numbers mean and how it may affect you as a consumer and as a watcher or creator of online content. This is a super basic overview and may lack some nuances about resolution and screen quality, but this is meant for those who just want to know what this means in a nutshell. So right now, people throw around the term HD, high definition. This is most often a resolution called 1080p. Let's start with what that means. In a 1080 display, there are 1080 rows in the image. When you see smaller numbers, like on YouTube, when you can select 240 or 720, this means there are less lines, which means less clarity. A 240 video looks blurry because there are less lines of color. Back in the day, you had the option of 1080p or 1080i. P is almost the guaranteed version now, which stands for progressive. All 1080 lines are displayed at the same time. The I meant interlaced, which meant that it would alternate lines. So 540 lines would show at a time and they would cycle back and forth at an extremely fast rate. To the human eye, it probably wasn't even noticeable in most cases, but P is the superior way to go. So now we have 1080p on most televisions, Netflix, YouTube, and more. But is there a way to get more lines? The next era of high definition replaces these 1,080 rows with 2,160 rows and nearly 4,000 columns. Since there are twice as many rows and twice as many columns, it equals to about four times the amount of pixel space, which is why they call it 4K. Now you'll walk into a Best Buy or you'll see a TV online or something and it's marketed as a 4K TV. You'll think to yourself, I want the best TV possible, so you'll consider getting one. But is it important now? Here's some things to think about. Not all content is even available in 4K. If you buy this fancy new TV, it won't necessarily make Netflix look better unless that programming is actually available in 4K. And yes, that is starting to become the case. Watching a 240 video on a 4K TV is still going to look like a 240 video. Also, there's the question if your eyes can even tell the difference. A 4K TV will benefit those of you that sit close enough to the TV to notice, but most viewers may not even notice the difference. For example, if you have a 45-inch screen, you have to sit closer than 6 feet away to notice much of a difference. So if you sit close enough, you have a 4K TV and you're watching content that is actually displayed in 4K, it may be worth your time and money. More and more TVs are inherently able to show 4K, so the chances are the TV that you're looking at, it plays 4K anyways. You just may not notice right away, so putting off this purchase, at least for the immediate future, might be a good idea if you're financially unsure about it. If you have the money though, a 4K TV will likely come in handy as more and more programming is available in native 4K format. So thanks for watching this week's video, and if you want to learn about other snippets about fascinating things, check back here every Wednesday or look up our What Is playlist, which features over 30 videos so far for your enjoyment. Thanks for watching.